Hey, how's it going? I'm Steven from Chelsea Green, and you're watching Heart Support. I mean, from the time that I was really young, I think I was in sixth grade, so about 11, 12, I, I just started experiencing such severe anxiety, and it kind of put me into this, this super depressive lull, and I developed this, you know, severe depression. Everything was gray and bleak around me. And then it was also kind of coexistent with uh, a lot of like hypochondria. So I was constantly thinking that I was impaired in some way, developing a disease, something new every day, developed into germophobia. All these things were kind of coexisting. And so I was just so severely depressed about it. It just really severely impacted a lot of my life. And it took me quite a long time, most, you know, almost a decade, to kind of pull myself out of it. I had the support of a, a, you know, such a big group of people. Uh, you know, I sought out therapy, and all these things, you know, kind of chiseled away at getting to the root of, of what my issues really were. Good friends, people I could speak with, people I could talk to, confide in. My parents were so supportive. My dad, you know, is, is very medically inclined, so he was always there to kind of calm me down whenever I'd be feeling, you know, nervous that I was sick or, you know, that I might die in my sleep that night or something like that. You know, there were times where I was absolutely, you know, I. I didn't have a will to live and when you reach that sort of point you don't think about the next day you're at the point where there really is no tomorrow and if there is it's going to be just as horrible as today if not worse and so I, I didn't really have any hope part of the OCD was routines I had routines I had to go through I was so over the top about germs avoiding them things like that like my day was very regimented so I go through it with almost like a schedule I would go to school and it would be terrible anxiety at school, surrounded by other kids. I couldn't like hold my girlfriend's hand without, you know, thinking I was going to contract some sort of like STD when I learned about STDs, things like that. So school was a nightmare. Every day was really, really painful. Then I would go home and kind of have my happy place, my room where things were controlled and I, I had my, my zone. I, I would go to bed every night kind of like, okay, well, I could very well pass away in my sleep tonight, so I've got to go make sure my parents know I love them and make sure my sister and my brother know I love them and, like, have phone calls with my friends, things like that. It was just really, I don't know, took over everything for a long, long time. It was tiring, yeah. It, it, it was such a big weight. I didn't really, I didn't even know the extent of it when I was in it, too. I mean, the biggest thing for me is, is that eventually life became about perspective for me. I, I reached a point in my life when, uh, you know, I was, I was finally, things really were lining up well around me. I was in school studying these sorts of things. I went to school for counseling and whatnot. And so I, I was learning about all these things, really trying to master them. And then one day, I guess it just kind of all clicked, and I, and I realized, hey, you know what? Everything is is good. I'm okay. I, I'm not sick. I'm not, you know, burdened. I, I have a great life. Things such as this, and it just, yeah, it just kind of happened one day between everyone around me and what I was learning. It just kind of came to me. So now, when I look back on it, and I think, wow, I mean, I'm so grateful to be out of that. Wherever my life is right now, I'm just so happy that I'm able to be happy. Anything that comes at me nowadays, maybe to a fault, I, I just kind of I'm like, okay, I can, I can handle this because I look back at everything I went through. You know, I had a great life, but, but in my head, I just couldn't accept anything. Everything I went through, I was so caught up in, and now I just, I can't let things face me like that anymore. It's, when I look back, I'm just grateful for where I'm at now. I mean. Honestly, there's just so many outlets too. If you ever are feeling alone, if you're in grief, if you're in depression, whatever it may be, there's so many outlets always around you that you can go to. There's, there's always a group of people that is experiencing something similar to what you're experiencing. And they're always there to help you out. So always seek out the help you need and, and look into groups like, uh, like this to, to be there for you. Yeah, someone's always there to talk and listen. If you're feeling any sort of worry or anything like I'm feeling, go to forum.heartsport.com and uh, get on the anonymous forum and chat with people about it.